Hi and welcome to Wrangle the Stars. I'm Kevin and I'm here today with RP Carl. Hello. <laughs> and Michael Mailer. Hello. So, um, we're doing an interview today and uh, I'm gonna start with RP. Yeah. How are you liking the film festival? Wow, it's my 25th anniversary to be in Oldenburg at the Film Fest. In mm -hmm. 1996, I was for the very first time here with my first short film called Ausgespielt. And then I uh, was in love with the festival, and so it's my 25th year. It's amazing. So, and uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. So, you have a special connection with the Film Fest yes. and with Thorsten as well, right? Yes, of course. Uh, to be honest, uh, we have together a production company and <laughs> I'm in the, in the board of uh, um, in the Oldenburg Film Fest board to uh, discuss films for the festivals etc. Mm -hmm. So of course I'm really has a, have a strong connection to the festival so I'm not a, a regular one uh -huh. <laughs> to say that. So. Or in, what about you, in the US oh. they call that insider trading. Yes. <laughs> 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 okay, and how do you like the film fest so far? Um, well, I'm I can't boast to 25 <laughs> years, uh -huh. but I, but it's my second festival. I, I was here uh, two years ago uh, mm -hmm. with the James Toback movie, um, The Private Life of a Modern Woman, mm -hmm. and fell in love with it then. And I'm just delighted to be back with my film Swing. Sounds very good. And it was really amazing because this film. Uh, it is a really great film, uh, Michael, I have to say. I like this film, the Tobak film, and Sienna Miller is such a great performance in the film. And when I heard about the film, it was the premiere was in Venice, right? We had the premiere of that film in Venice, yeah. 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 And a uh, really famous German critic, Rüdiger Susland, uh, wrote about the film a really great review in the German newspaper and I thought, okay, I have to see this film. And then after this uh, festival, there were a little bit difficulties because uh, there were some whispering well, yes. about Tobek and his behavior, blah, blah, we know it. And then the film a little bit was uh, from the area, right? And so it was really nice to invite you to Oldenburg and to bring the film back <laughs> to the to the screen and uh, it was really um, powerful your speech or your discussion after the film in the Casablanca I was there and I was really impressed so that are the yeah. great uh, festival moments when the filmmaker are here and telling really personal stories about her um, work and so it, I, I was really impressed and uh, thank, thank you for having yeah. you here for the second time. But um, this year you're here with your new film Swing, yes. a classic sports film. Tell us something about it. Sure, well it's, it's a movie about college rowing, collegiate rowing, otherwise known as crew, and it's set in a fictional, uh, fictional uh, Ivy League uh, college. And basically, they're the bad news bears. They're a team of uh, a group of individually talented rowers, but as a team, they're, they're terrible. They suck. And um, they bring in this guru coach, portrayed by Michael Shannon, and he instills in them a sense of teamship, of camaraderie, of of uh, swing, which is this mythical concept of achieving harmony and unity and synchronicity on an eight-man boat um, when you're rowing um, com competitively. So. And you are not only the producer of the film, you are as well as a director, right? I, I directed Swing. I actually, uh, the first time I haven't produced, and I have oh. to say oh. I, I was very happy wearing one hat on this <laughs> movie. Um, it, uh, it was a complex film to shoot because of, um, we had a lot of sequences obviously on water. And whenever you're shooting on water, it's, uh, you know, uh, Murphy's Law comes into play. <laughs> so, uh, have you filmed it during the pandemic? Well, no, actually, we were very fortunate that we put it in the can. Uh, in other words, we finished the, the production end of it just before COVID hit. And then, uh, unfortunately, post-production was delayed indefinitely till we could figure out how to do it remotely mm -hmm. um, and so our what would normally take a few months took you know well over a year to complete but um, 
you know, it, it, what I liked about it is it really gave us a lot of time to think about the film. You know, when you make a movie, you have one vision, and then the edit mm -hmm. room, you have another. Um, and often you can remake the movie. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're editing it, it's a process I enjoy very much because it's it's uh, unlike the chaos of production. You're in a quiet room, mm -hmm. sort of figuring out your chessboard. All right, and RP Carl. Yeah, you were here with Alt Susan Sontag in Publikum saß, yes. which basically is translated to when Susan Sontag was sitting in the audience. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, tell us something about that movie. Yeah, it's a documentary mm -hmm. uh, and it's a reenactment, a kind of reenactment. 50 years ago, Michael Mailer, the father, <laughs> Norman Mailer, Norman Mailer, uh, the father of Michael, so that is the, the right version, uh -huh. uh, was sitting in New York in, uh, in a discussion, a really famous and amazing discussion mm -hmm. called uh, a discussion about women's liberation. Mm -hmm. And he was discussing the topic of feminism and the way how men and women can live together in a good mood <laughs> and if you know it's difficult still and yeah and it was a discussion with uh, Mike Norman Mailer oh <laughs> Mike <and> Norman so <laughs> I, I, I'm yes. confused That's and I'm a little bit uh, wow I'm uh, whoops yes. uh, take care for the bike <laughs> <laughs> no and this discussion uh, was together with Jermaine Greer Jay Johnston, uh, Darren Twilling, famous feminist of this time, and yeah. also Susan Sontag, and she was in the audience, yeah. so that is the idea of the title. And um, this discussion was uh, filmed by Penny Baker and Hedges, famous uh, uh, documentary filmmaker. Mm -hmm. And there is a film about this discussion uh, called um, Town Bloody Hall. And I saw, saw this film uh, one year before, and I was amazed because oh this film is 50 years or this discussion was 50 years ago and yeah. how uh, what is, is there any um, other moments in our life between men and women or stay we on the same step mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and on the other side I found that the discussion was really great in a way that they were very heavy to yep. fight each other but to the same time it was entertaining and they accepted each other in the intellectual way and in a liberal way and so that is a thing for me oh we can learn a little bit from yes. this discussion for today how we can fight each other in a good way yes. Mm -hmm. yes. to come to a new point yep. and of course we have to discuss the position of women in, in the society of course we have to but in which way we have to go forward and so I thought okay it would be nice to make this discussion in German mm. because it's, it's the intellectual level of this discussion in New York was so high and mm. uh, if also if your English is great you understand only yes, 80 yeah. percent yeah. so and so I, th I thought okay it's good to translate in German mm -hmm. And to to make a reenactment with German guys, German women, and me as Norman Mailer, <laughs> I will. I, I'm I'm really curious what you think when you see the film yes, tonight. Yes, uh, I'm curious too. <laughs> how I'm playing your father. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, if I start calling you dad afterwards, yeah, yeah, then, then you know you've succeeded. <laughs> okay, we will see. We will see. And um, yeah, but. Of course, it was interesting not only to make the reenactment, mm -hmm. also to discuss what we are thinking today as our own persons, not as the characters. Sure. And so, it's a new documentary about this topic based on the discussion 50 years ago and based on this great book by a father, yeah. <laughs> uh, Prisoner of Sex. Yes. yes. Yeah. And this was the opening point mm -hmm. for this discussion. So, and maybe you have to sign it <laughs> I, I, I could, <laughs> happily. Uh, um, no, but it, it's interesting because um, you're right. It was, it was like a heavyweight championship fight, but fought with words. Yes. Uh, and not fists. And, you know, it, it, allowed for a dialectic to occur between two very opposing sides, though they had common ground, you know, which I think people lose sight of. 
But in a way, you know, while things have changed, that dynamic between man and woman, um, you can't have frank conversations anymore because you, you, I find that you are um, corralled and often silenced by the, by the, the police of the politically correct, mm -hmm. you know, and it's stifled debate. And, and intellectual debate and uh, I'm really happy to know that you've made this film I'm very excited to see it and uh, I'm sure it's terrific um, but it's uh, you know may maybe it will succeed in bringing back discourse you yes. know um, as opposed to finger pointing that is my hope that is my hope we will see uh, how it works yeah. <laughs> okay so um, yeah your intention was to bring the, discu uh, the discussion forward yes of course, uh, to bring it back on the topic, mm -hmm. and of course, I'm a man, <laughs> so, and I'm in this um, in this world, and I see what's around, and so my idea was I have to do it. Of course, some people ask me, "Oh, is it right as a man to uh, think about this topic uh, and to do this film? Maybe it would be better if a woman would make this film." No. Both, all can do this film, yes. also mm -hmm. women yes. or men, and I want to discuss this topic, and that is the idea behind. Yep. And so that is our idea of a liberal uh, society, and so that is my uh, point. Okay, mm -hmm. I will uh, succeed in this way to bring it uh, uh, back on the topic that we have to find a good way to discuss and to fight each other in a liberal way and to accept each other in our intellectual minds and our opposites etc etc and that is my idea of society and to to live and work together and so i bring it to the film mm -hmm. and of course it's not it's not my film because it's a film of the people are in the film i had a great co-author Sarah Lisa Foym she's mm -hmm. amazing she's a great person I had Louisa Helm for Jill Johnston Celine Yildirim a great uh, uh, actress and filmmaker for uh, Jacqueline Ceballos and Heike Melba Fendel for Diane Trilling the old film critic from New York in this time so great uh, women great persons and of course we made it together it was uh, we came together on three days, made this uh, reenactment, discussed the topics, and so it's not only my film. I only was the, uh, the guy who asked the other people to join in, and so it's a in a, in a way it's a group film. So with a lot of women <laughs> and two men. Yes. So. <laughs> <laughs> and why did you actually choose? Um, Susan Sontag to be in the title, why not any other woman or man? Yeah, oh, that is, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a good title. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds and catchy. Yeah. It's catchy <laughs> and it's the truth. Susan Sontag was only sitting in the audience in mm -hmm. this event and she asked one question or two questions yep. and so, uh, yeah, that is the truth and mm -hmm. uh, it's a good title, I guess. So. <laughs> And um, Michael, did your father actually talk to you about this special event, or the the, the event? Oh, oh, about Town Bloody Hall. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I actually went to their premiere screening. Oh, right. um, At Town Hall, which is a mm -hmm. theater where they they did the initial debate and then they premiered the the documentary there. And I was very young at the time, but uh, I was still riveted by mm -hmm. the the excitement. You know, there's an electrical. Um, sense of, of just you know when ideas are being flung back and forth mm -hmm. in a very kind of articulate manner you know it's it's like watching a prize fight you, you really are you know you're cheering for, for one side and then the other and then you know and then the dynamics change mm -hmm. um, in the course of the of the contest um, the momentum swings back and forth and uh, you know um, my dad was very um, he could be very pugilistic, you know. He liked he liked debating, mm -hmm. yes. and he, and he used him with some some heavyweight contenders, mm -hmm. you know, who, who who punched back very hard. Um, but you know, there there was just uh, a sense of respect, you know, mm -hmm. even though there was disagreement. Um, you could talk about things on opposite sides um, without inflaming, you know, one's um, ideological mm. um, conformity, and uh, that's changed, unfortunately. I mean, I hope. You know, society is able to come back to the point where 
you can respectfully disagree mm -hmm. um, and yet challenge uh, the other on their ideas. Um, so, you know, we'll see. But um, I think uh, I take my hat off to RP for, for taking this challenging subject and turning it into a film. Mm -hmm. Wow, <laughs> I'm, I'm very curious uh, for tonight uh, yeah. how the people will like it as their work premiere. So mm -hmm. and so, I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, we will see. <laughs> One question, uh, um, Michael: What do you like more to direct or to produce, or is there no difference in your intention or energy to do it? Because I'm yeah. also a director and I produce my films uh, on my own, so. Uh, it's not uh, the separation between directing and producing and you said this film you only directed yes yeah. and, the, and of course you are a great producer what do you like more <laughs> well at this point I'm, i i prefer to, to direct i mean I, i just like the the creative intensity the focus um You know, I, I, I mean, listen, all independent producers, you know, are backseat directors anyway. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I, I cut my teeth making Toback movies and, you know, he was very collaborative. Um, and I, you know, for me, it was a very natural step. And I think producing actually made me a better, has made me a better director mm -hmm. um, just because of, of my understanding of the dynamics of production. But um, I, I, I find directing to be just, you know, at this point in my life and my career a, a more compelling endeavor cool yeah great <laughs> yeah. okay very interesting we have to get back actually to the okay. place we have to be at like five past how half past half, 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 no Anyway, that, that was nice. We, yeah. We were in time. Yeah. Um, and I you know, it was nice to be able to see some of the city as we were talking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you actually seen parts of the city? Have you walked around a bit or I've walked everywhere actually. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a beautiful city and um, you know it's it's I've been to a lot of festivals mm -hmm. obviously and, and I, I really find this one has a unique voice. Mm -hmm. Um And it's uh, and the tastes are very you know the the, the variety of film is eclectic. Um, you know my film is a bit of an outlier because it's a, it's a very kind of traditionalist mm -hmm. um, sports story, and yet you know the values that it espouses, which are you know sacrifice, team above self, mm -hmm. you know the sublimation of ego. Um, those values in my country have become. On the, uh, an outsider perspective, mm. you know, it's no longer part of the mainstream. So, you know, I I, uh, I think there's you know uh, a reason for for the film to be here um, in in a in a festival that's seen, that's considers itself an outsider mm -hmm. uh, festival. So, was it actually your intention to do it like a traditional sports film, or did you like want to be an outsider? In, in No, no, I, I set out to make a, a classic sports film, but mm -hmm. you know, in the course of making it, I realized, and the movie is set in 1999, yeah. you know, it's, it's a, which was a very different time uh, than now. And uh, again, like the, the values that this film represents, which are very, you know, it used to be very traditional core values and mm -hmm. American society have not sadly become such anymore. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, we'll see how the audience responds, but I, I think, you know, as a throwback to, um, kind of a pre-social um, media era, it's, uh, you know, I, I think there's a, a value to its nostalgia. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I think we're coming to an end. Great. Thank you okay. so, so much for the interviews. Absolutely. And I hope you're having a great time tonight at the world premiere. Yeah, it was a pleasure to be here on the call. So, Michael, thank you. Uh, and I am... Yeah. <laughs> Very happy to have you at the world premiere tonight. Yes, <laughs> so. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, it can't happen soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> Good. All right. Thank you. Kevin. Yeah, thank you. Right. Wow, amazing. Great. Yeah, yeah it was All a point. Point. powerful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>